मैपिंग डिजीज जीन्स इन ह्यूमन्स डिफरेंट मैथड्स आर यूज टू मैप द क्रोमोसोम्स ऑफ द ह्यूमन्स और टू लोकेट द प्लेसेज ऑफ द जीन्स और फॉर द आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ द जीन्स वेयर द जीन इज प्रेजेंट ऑन अ क्रोमोसोम मैपिंग ह्यूमन डिजीज जीन्स इज यूजली by selecting the certain families or by the identification of the certain families and by typing the dna of the individuals of that family so this is the common method for identification of the disease genes in case of humans for the identification of the disease genes polymorphic markers are used there are different types of the polymorphic markers the com the common polymorphic markers they are str single nucleotide polymorphism they can be used either some of the uh, researchers or geneticists they use str markers that is short tandem repeat marker or some they use uh, single nucleotide uh, polymorphism as the polymorphic markers there are several methods for identification of the disease genes in humans but there are two most common methods they are position independent and position dependent in case of position independent a researcher or a geneticist does not know about the location of the gene a particular phenotype is selected and certain proteins are studied based on the function of the protein the relevant gene is identified while in case of position dependent a gene location of the gene is first identified with the help of the genetic markers ultimately gene is identified from that particular location and the mutation is studied that is causing a particular phenotype position a uh, position dependent technique is also called as reverse genetics in case of oligonucleotide method a first a specific protein is identified and once the protein is identified uh, in such a genes that cause certain phenotypes those genes they produce large amount of the proteins those proteins they are uh, purified once the uh, protein is purified then with the help of the sequence of the protein oligonucleotides they are formed once the oligonucleotides which are also called as probes with the help of those oligonucleotides cdna libraries are screened and with the help of probe once within the cdna a particular cdna is identified then it is checked that from which gene this cdna has produced ultimately with the help of the probes that particular gene, uh, gene is identified there is a second method in case of position independent that method is called as antibody method in this case antibodies they are produced usually uh, by taking the help from certain animals animals can be the rabbit or the mouse once the antibodies they are produced then with the help of antibody and oligonucleotides cdna libraries are screened disease uh, in case of position uh, dependent uh, first a particular location on the genome is identified this process is completed with the help of markers markers can can be the str markers or the single nucleotide polymorphism once a particular location is identified with the help of marker then all the genes which are present in that particular location those genes are sequenced and one of the gene that have a mutation or gene that is responsible for causing a phenotype that gene is identified this method is called as positional cloning method so we can conclude that there are different types of the method which are used 
for identification of the disease genes but there are most common methods that is position independent and position dependent but in case of nowadays position dependent method is mostly used for identification of the genes which are causing certain phenotypes or responsible for causing certain phenotypes in the humans